White House Press Secretary Karine Jean-Pierre was asked directly if President Biden raised, quote, any concerns about Pennsylvania Lieutenant Governor Don Fetterman's health during Wednesday's White House press briefing. Fetterman, the Keystone State's Democratic candidate for Senate, had a stroke in May that he says left him with auditory processing issues. He faced a spate of negative reviews over his performance in Tuesday's debate, where he frequently paused and sometimes appeared to struggle to find the right words. Jean-Pierre said Biden found Fetterman to be a, quote, incredibly bright and talented person who's just as capable as always to carry out the duties of his office. And just a really quick follow-up to Zeke's question. Um, given the amount of time that the president has spent with Fetterman and the conversation that is happening today in the wake of last night's debate <clears throat> performance, does the president have any concerns about, has he ever raised uh, either a conversation with you that you've been a part of or, or with others here at the White House? Um, any concerns about his health? So I'll say this. It, um, with In personal conversations that the president has had with the lieutenant governor, the president has found him to be impressive, uh, an incredibly bright and talented person who's just as capable as always uh, to carry out uh, his office, uh, the duties of his office, as we know he is lieutenant governor currently, and has great ability and heartfelt concern for the people of the Commonwealth. And that is what uh, the president has observed himself. Uh, that is, uh, you know, as, as is the case before and is the case today. Uh, and he respects the courage and the honesty uh, that he sees uh, from the lieutenant governor that he's experienced in their conversation and their relationship over time. And we have, we have of course, uh, it, it, as relates to your question about uh, his health, seen the same comments from independent medical experts that you all have noted and, and uh, that the improving symptoms uh, he has have uh, to do with the speech and hearing, not all with uh, cognitive function. So uh, again, he thinks that uh, he looks forward to working with the lieutenant governor in the future and um, and sees him as an authentic uh, individual who is fighting every day for the middle class and finds him incredibly impressive. Um, given the president last week um, in Pittsburgh when we were traveling with him said that he did think Democrats would be able to hold the Senate. Does he still think that today given last night's debate performance? I mean, look, I'm, I'm not going to get into analysis here. There are people out there who are who are political pundits who, who are clearly doing that every day for the next uh, next two weeks or less than two weeks. So not going to get into get into that into those specifics. Here's what the president believes. He believes that uh, the American people have a choice. Uh, there is so much at stake uh, for uh, for our country, and uh, and he believes that the, ch the choice is very very clear. He believes that uh, uh, Democrats and congressional Democrats and, and the president have uh, a lot to speak to, and, and you've seen that across the past several several weeks from this president. He's talked about student loan. He's talked about economic recovery. Uh, he's talked about uh, uh, today even uh, the junk fees and what his administration is doing to make sure that we give a little bit breathing room for the American people. Uh, he's talked about lowering costs. We see gas prices, as Kirby was saying, has come down about $1.25 a gallon because of the work that this president has done. So he believes, and, and let's not forget the Inflation Reduction Act that only Democrats voted on, uh, that's going to lower uh, health care costs, that's going to really put put in a, a great effort in fighting climate, climate change, and also lower uh, uh, um, uh, energy costs. So, for him, he believes, and also congressional Democrats, because you hear them talking about it uh, as well in their districts and states, uh, have a lot uh, that they have delivered for the American people. And that's going to be his focus uh, these next couple of weeks, as it's been these past several months. Just one more question. Um, given, you know, polls show that uh, voters at this point, the primary <coughs> concern heading into the midterms is inflation and the economy. By a two to one margin, voters trust Republicans more than Democrats to handle the economy. I wonder, given this sort of majority sentiment of voters, is the president considering making any changes to his economic team after the midterms? No. Gets the